Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the YouTube channel Plantastic. Today we are going to learn how to prepare the stock and working solution for plant growth regulators in plant tissue culture. Alright, what is plant growth regulator PGR? It is commonly known as plant hormone. It is a chemical substance that regulates the growth and the development of the plant. There will be osin, cytokinin, ethylene, gibberellin, and abscisic acid, which are the main plant growth regulator in plant tissue culture. Although there are quite a lot of the plant growth regulators available, but these are the main PGI you can find in most of the papers. How to prepare stocks solution? First, we have to do some literature research and to get the chemicals ready. After that, we wet the chemical according to the amount. We dissolve the chemicals by using a solvent and then we dot out the solution as stock solution and keep at the desired temperature. When we are about to prepare the working solution, we just take the desired amount using the dilution formula. Stage 0, which is the literature research and get the chemicals ready. First, you have to refer to the journals and plan yourself that what are the PGR you are going to decide to use and what is the concentration you are going to use in the tissue culture. Before you start, I suggest you to check for the storage temperature for the chemical which is the plunger regulator in powder form. For example, some of the chemicals can be stored in room temperature when it is powder form, whereas some have to be stored at negative 4, negative 20 degrees Celsius. You have to check the solvent that used to dissolve the chemicals, the melting point of the chemicals, and also the storage temperature of the stock solution, which means that there will be two storage temperatures here, mainly the chemical powder and the chemical in solution form. Next, we have to weigh the chemical first, part 1. To prepare 500 ml of BAP stock solution at 1.0 gram per liter, remember the previous video I mentioned, stock solution is the concentrated solution. So, if you want to prepare milligram per liter, stock solution will be gram per liter. So, for part 1, I will show you how to prepare the chemicals in gram per liter. Example here is BAP. To prepare 500 ml of BAP in a stock of 1.0 gram per liter, first we wet 0.5 gram of the chemical, dissolve with the chemical, dissolve the chemicals with solvent, we top up the distilled water to 500 ml. 0.5 gram of the chemicals is needed. This is because if you are going to prepare 1 liter of the stock solution, it is 1.0 gram. If you are going to prepare 500 ml, then it will be 0.5 gram. In part 2, I will show you how we are going to prepare in micromolar. So, if we want to prepare working solution in micromolar, for the stock solution, we have to prepare in millimolar. To prepare 500 ml of BAP solution at 1.0 millimolar, we have to use the equation mass equals to volume in liter times the molar mass gram per mole times the molarity. So the molar mass you can actually refer to the bottle of the chemicals or you can get it easily through the internet. So from this equation, we substitute the milli into the equation. We will get roughly about 0.113 gram if the electronic balance is 3 decimal place. So for 500 ml of the 1.0 millimolar BAP stock solution, 0.113 gram of BAP is needed. Here is the table of the prefix, then you can refer to it. Alright, stage 2 is the addition of solvent. You have to check the type of solvent to be used. For example, BAP, you have to add one normality sodium hydroxide drop by drop, Stir it until the powder is dissolved, add more sodium hydroxide if the powder is not dissolved. Followed by you top out the solution to the desired volume, for example 500 ml, using distilled water. Subsequently, when you want to dilute it, you will have two parts. If previously you prepared in gram per liter, you have to refer to this slide. 
which is milligram per liter by using the dilution formula which is M1V1 equals to M2V2. If you are going to prepare 1 liter of the working solution with a concentration of 1.0 milligram of BAP, you're going to use 1 ml of the stock solution here. So in this slide, we'll show you how to dilute the stock solution from millimolar to micromolar. By using the formula again, M1V1 equals to M2V2, we can find that for 1 liter of the working solution at 1.0 micromolar, we need only 1 ml of the stock solution. Here is a prefix for you as a reference. Here are some extra notes on the stock and working solution preparation of the PGR. For example, here cytokinin, which is the TDZ, there is a solvent such as dimethyl sulfate oxide, DMSO. Instead of using that, you can use 1.0 normality of the NaOH or KOH, which is sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide as an alternative because DMSO is toxic to the plant. You have to check that whether it is a synthetic PGR or organic PGR because synthetic PGR is often heat tolerant but organic PGR is not, for example, zeatin. So in this case, we often add the zeatin stock solution after sterilization process using autoclave, which is known as the filter sterilization. This filter sterilization must perform in aseptic condition, which means that all these steps, you have to perform it in lamina flow hood in aseptic condition. First, you can be prepared 10 ml of 10 millimolar zeatin. You can refer to the molar mass of the zeatin on the bottle and then you prepare it accordingly with the formula. With the formula which is M equals to volume times molar mass times molarity. Then you suck the solution by using the sterile syringe. After that, you install the sterile ultrafilter onto the syringe. Then you pump out the solution into the sterilized container such as glass jar with lid or a pan of tube and keep it at the desired storage temperature. Whatever solution pass through the ultrafilter, it will become sterilized because the micropore is very small for the bacteria and fungus. So whatever solution pass through it, we consider it as a sterilized solution. For this stock solution, you just keep it in fridge with a closed lid until you want to prepare the working solution. So, when you want to prepare the working solution, you defrost the stock solution. You calculate the volume you needed using dilution formula, which is M1V1 equals to M2V2, and then you pipette it using the sterile pipette tip, and you pipette the solution into the sterilized media after autoclave, which is around 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. After that, you have to pour one by one while swirling the media into the sterilized container and then close the lid. This is how we prepare the media with filter sterilization. Alright, before we end our video, there is a bonus slide of this video, which is the conversion from milligram per liter to micromolar and vice versa. So, how do we convert gram per liter to molarity? From gram per liter, we divide it by the molar mass of the component, if it gives you the molarity. If it gives you the molarity. From the molarity, we multiply it with the molar mass, you will get the gram per liter. Note that molarity is more per liter. Okay, let's take an example here using BAP. We convert it from milligram per liter to micromolar. 1.0 mg per liter weight is equal to 1.0 times 10 power of negative 3 g per liter. So we divide it with the molar mass of the BAP, then we convert it into the micromolar 10 power to 6, which gives you 4.44 micromolar, which means that 1.0 mg of BAP is equal to 4.44 micromolar. Alright, so how do we convert it from micromolar to mg per liter? From 1.0 micromolar, is equals to 1.0 times 10 power of negative 6 more per liter. Then we multiply it with molar mass and then it will give you the answer in gram per liter. So we convert it into milligram per liter. Eventually it will tell you that 1.0 micromolar of BAP is equals to 0.225 milligram per liter. Don't forget to subscribe, share and hit up the notification button for subsequent videos on plant science. You may also find me at the LinkedIn profile for the connection. 
This is not a sponsored video and I would like to share with every one of you the reference I used in this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.